Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a healthy food haul for you guys. Um, I don't know if you know this, uh, people on Twitter know it, I recently joined the Tone It Up. It's like a diet plan, but it's it's not a diet. Don't go jumping on me. I'm not trying to lose weight. Trust me, if anything, I'm underweight and I need to gain weight. Um, I just want to tone up. So basically just like work out, make my body like tighter and stuff. Um, nothing to do with losing weight, not counting calories, anything like that. Um, I just wanted a healthier lifestyle because all I was eating lately was like fried food, fast food, Tim Hortons, things like that. And I was basically becoming the you are what you eat. And I was just so tired all the time. And I was just like, I don't know, I just didn't have energy. I just didn't feel right. I just, ugh, I don't know. It was gross. And I was like, I need to change. So the toned up diet plan uh, basically just... I don't know, it just, it's very informative. It tells you a lot about um, food and it gives you like meal ideas, it gives you recipes and stuff and it sh tells you like when you should eat each meal because like you shouldn't eat certain things after certain times and like if you eat this in the morning it's a lot better than if you ate it at night, you know what I mean? Like things like that. So I've been loving it. I've only been doing it for a week and um, I've already felt such a difference in myself. I'm so much more awake. Um, I'm so much, I don't know, just more energetic and um, happier maybe. And I don't know, I can like see myself getting smaller, maybe smaller, I don't know. I just think, don't think, I don't want people to freak out on me. Like I'm not trying to lose weight. So like if you like make a comment like that, like you'll just be like deleted because I just, that's not what it is. So I'm just trying, it's literally for me just a lifestyle change to get away from eating unhealthy foods and just trying to eat healthier and start working out. That's, that's all it is, really. I just needed kind of something to tell me what to do because you hear things from people and you're just like, okay, that's good, but it's really not that good. So I really trust these girls. So I bought their, their plan and once you buy a plan, you're a member for life. So when they upgrade the plan, um, you get a free upgrade. So I think that's really great. It was $149 and it was worth every single penny. And no, I'm not going to be paid... I'm not being paid for them or anything. I bought it with my own money. Nobody told me to buy it. I bought it because I, I follow them on Twitter. They're really, really, really nice. And I follow their YouTube videos as well. So yeah, okay. So I bought at the grocery store today this. This is the Ezekiel 49 um, Food for Life uh, Organic Spreaded Whole Grain Tortillas. Ezekiel 49 is like my favorite like company for like bread stuff ever um they have spreaded greens which are like the best for you um i want to see um i will read to you somewhere where it says oh but spreaded greens are basically the best um you can get so i thought if i was going to be eating bread i might as well be eating the like healthiest bread that i could because carbs just I mean, bread just isn't really that good for you. So yeah, I got this. They go in like the freezer. Um, uh, I don't know why. There's always in the freezer. There's no preservatives. And yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. I just I love Ezekiel. I also have. Um, they have English muffins as well. And I also have um, their bread. And I also have a cereal, and they also have like hot dog buns and stuff like that, so I don't know, I think it's worth it. And keep in mind, I am like no nutritionist or anything like that, I just, they said that that bread was good, and I've read up about sprouted grains, and they're like the best for you, so, yep. And then I also got Ezekiel 4.9 um, pasta, because pasta is just horrible for you, it is just horrible, so... For the odd time where I crave pasta, because I am Italian, I love pasta, it's like my thing. It's like the only thing I'm like really, really, really good at cooking. Um, so I got the sprouted grain pasta because I feel like that would be healthier for the odd time that I wanted to have pasta. Um, I feel like this is like the healthiest you can get. <laughs> um, you basically just don't want to buy anything that's like white. Like you don't want white bread, uh, it's just like really bad for you. Try to get like whole wheat and stuff like that. So. Complete protein pasta, 100% organic, high in fiber, 100% whole grain, and low in glycemic. Um, so yeah, I just feel like this would be really yummy. And, yep. 
Oh. I love it. You should, like... Let me just read these ingredients to you, okay? Organic spreaded whole grain wheat, organic spreaded whole grain barley, organic spreaded whole grain millet, organic... Oh my god, this is like a tongue switcher. Organic spreaded whole lentils, um, organic spreaded whole soybeans, and organic spreaded whole grain spelt. Like, that is just, like, incredible. So, I got this for when I want pasta. And I also got coconut oil. This is really good to cook with. To cook with. Um, this is really good to put in your hair as a hair treatment. And this is also really good for your skin. And it's all like the same thing. So you don't need to buy like a separate one for your hair. Like literally the oil you cook with is the oil that is good for your hair and for your skin. So that's really good. Um, so I'm going to be using this for my hair. I'm going to be using this for my skin. And I'm going to be using this for um, baking. When I like bake healthy muffins and cupcakes and stuff like that. Some people like to cook it with vegetables, but I've had it cooked with vegetables and it grossed me out because I don't feel like coconut and like asparagus go well together, you know what I mean? So that's just my preference. A lot of people do like cooking for it, so yep. And then I also got, um, for when I do bake as well, um, instead of just whole wheat flour or like, um, um, white flour, all-purpose flour, whatever. I got almond flour. Um, so this is just made from almonds. So it's really good. Almonds are really, really healthy for you um, in small doses, of course. Everything is kind of proportion size. So you should be eating, you shouldn't be counting calories. You should be looking at proportions. Um, and you, you should be allowed to cheat. My cheat days are Saturday and Sunday, and I eat whatever I want <laughs> because I feel like I do so hard to eat so healthy Monday to Friday that you kind of will go crazy if you don't ever allow yourself to have a cookie or, you know what I mean? So, Saturday and Sunday are my cheat days. And then I also got um, organic whole wheat pitas. I'm going to be making some pita chips because I just made some guacamole. And I don't have any chips or anything like that in the house. So, I thought I would make my own pita chips so I know what's in them. Well, I guess I don't really know what's in them. Well, I do, kind of. You know what I mean? But these ones are organic. And... Yep, I don't know, that looks good. So, I thought that would be good. Uh, oh my goodness, running in space. Okay. And then I also got um, quinoa. Quinoa is really good for you as well. You can put it in like soups. Um, you basically, you cook it like rice. You cook it like pasta, you cook it like anything like that. It's like couscous. Um, and you can just like put it in anything. You can put it in a stir fry, you can put it in um, a salad. You can just eat this by itself. I saw a girl who made like um, a morning like bake with it. So she just kind of had like a little pie tin. Just put like quinoa and like some maple syrup and stuff like that and baked it. And then it was kind of like whole and she just ate it like that. You can do so many things with quinoa. It's really, really, really good for you. I recommend it. Um, and then I also got, for if I do bake something, um, some chocolate chips, but these ones, uh, these ones are bittersweet. They're 71% um, cocoa. So the darker, like the more cocoa that's in it, the better it is for you. Like dark chocolate's better for you than milk chocolate. And thankfully, I love dark chocolate. It's my favorite type of chocolate. So, I mean, dark chocolate won't kill you if you have a little bit of it. Um, so this one is made from organic cocoa mass, cane sugar, and cocoa butter. So I thought that was um, good rather than just like refined sugar and stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to be more conscious about what I'm eating and it's just, I love it. It's like a new adventure every single day. And then I also got for, for snacks, um, these are my favorite Lara bars. They are like all natural, like no more than nine ingredients per bar, um, fruit and nut bars. So for example, this one's coconut cream and this one has dates. They all have dates in them to keep it together, to kind of give it some sweetness. So if you don't, ooh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't think I liked dates at first, but um, when you eat them in these, you can't even like, I mean, you can kind of taste it, but it's really not bad. Just give it a try. Be a little bit, you gotta be a little bit open-minded when you're starting to eat healthy because you're trying new things that you didn't necessarily eat and you're so used to like, you know, like fried foods and like McDonald's and stuff like that that you're like, 
oh my god, vegetables, but like, you just gotta be open-minded about everything, just give something a try, um, and you never know, you might like it, right? So, I've become obsessed with these. Anyways, these have dates, dried coconut, cashews, almonds, and coconut oil in them, and these are like one of my favorite, favorite, favorite ones. It's my favorite flavors so far that I've tried, the coconut cream, uh, pecan, which is this one. This one has uh, dates, pecans, and almonds in it. That's it. Like, it is so delicious and so good for you. It's great for a snack. I like to throw these in my purse when I'm uh, shopping and stuff like that so I don't go to, like, um, the food court and go to Tim Hortons and get, like, a bagel because I'm hungry. Like, I'll just take out one of these and I'll eat one of these. And it's really satisfying. You also have peanut butter ones that are really delicious. Um, these ones have dates peanut butter which only has peanuts and salt in it and dry roasted peanuts so I love this one and they also have a I don't have any in here right now because I finished them but they're the peanut butter chocolate chip and those are one of my favorites too so basically all these are like my favorites the banana one tastes exactly like banana bread so if you're a fan of banana bread I highly recommend this one this one only has almonds dates and dried bananas in it and then yeah so the banana one the pecan one Coconut cream, peanut butter, and peanut butter chocolate chip are so far my favorites. Those are the only ones I've tried. Um, I don't like... My mom just bought one, actually. I don't like these ones. Where are they? The Cocoa Coconut Chew. I hate these ones. It's nasty. I don't like them. Um, but every other one I've tried, I've like basically liked. So that's good. So I really recommend uh, Lara Bars. They're really good for you. Ooh. And then... Um, I eat these things almost every morning, maybe not every morning, called protein pancakes that Tone It Up, um, I guess, invented. And you can get their recipe on the website. So that's a free recipe, and I love them. They're really good for you. They contain a scoop of protein, half a banana, um, flaxseed, <laughs> like no flour. Like the flour is basically the, um, the protein powder. And yeah, so protein powder, half a banana, um, one tablespoon, I believe, of ground flaxseed and a quarter cup of egg whites. And that's it. And you just like mash it together, put some cinnamon in it. Um, kind of, it's, I think, a teaspoon of cinnamon or something, but I just like to eye it. If I'm feeling like more cinnamon that day, then I'll have it. And yeah, it makes either one ginormous pancake or two smaller ones. I like two smaller ones. And, um, instead of like, you know, like, those maple syrups that aren't really maple syrups. You should get pure maple syrup, so 100% pure. Look on the um, ingredients to make sure that literally maple syrup is the only ingredient and only have like a tablespoon of this. To avoid me overeating um, like maple syrup and stuff, I put it in a separate little container and I'll like cut my pancake and dip it in and then I'm left with so much more than when I pour it on my pancakes because when I pour it on it sinks in right and I feel like there's no maple syrup there so I keep putting more on and that makes you like overeat um this sugarous stuff right but yeah if you're gonna eat it pure maple syrup or you can get um raw agave I think that's how you say it mm -hmm. this one uh yeah it's just raw I just got this from um winners actually for $4.99 $5.99 you can get these like any health food store. Um, the raw one is the one that they recommend. And um, it's an interesting flavor. It hasn't grown on me 100% yet, but I, I do like it. And I also got, um, it's like a Gavi maple syrup. So it's like this stuff, which is like 100% natural. Um, it's from a plant, I believe. So this is all natural organic, the low glycemic syrup. And it has no sugar or high fructose corn syrup. Um, yeah, this one's just like, it's super sweet. Um, so yeah, there's lots of different choices you can put on instead of like Aunt Jemima's <laughs> maple syrup. So that's it. Um, let me know if you guys like these like healthy food hauls and I can start, I don't know. I'm not really allowed to give away recipes um, that they include in the plan unless they have given them out on their YouTube channel because it's like you basically pay for it, right? So it's not really fair to give it away. Um, so I don't really know if I can do, do it unless I like make up my own recipe, but so far I've only been following theirs, but I can still, I can do like kind of like updates and a review, um, and then more healthy food hauls if you guys want to see that. <laughs> 
So, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry, I've never done one before, so this is kind of weird. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys liked it, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys. Love you. Mwah.